Hello and welcome to this video series on NRF Connect for Visual Studio Code. My name is Ali Aljani. I'm a product marketing engineer with Nordic Semiconductor. In this video series, we will learn all about the NRF Connect for Visual Studio Code, which is a quite powerful and a user-friendly environment to develop, build, test, and deploy embedded applications based on the NRF Connect SDK. Let's see how we can install the NRF Connect for Visual Studio Code. To do that, we need to first install the NRF command line tools. Click on this link, scroll down to the Downloads tab, select the version that matches your operating system, click here to get the installer file. You can see the download has started. It will take a few moments to finish. The installer file is ready for the NRF command line tools here to start the installation process. Straightforward installation. You might be also prompted to install the Sager J link. Please uh, go ahead with that. So we have finished the first step. Now the next step is to install the NRF Connect SDK. This can be done using the Toolchain Manager, if you are on a Windows or a Mac OS machine, or using the Getting Started Assistant, if you are on a Linux. Both of these applications are accessible through the NRF Connect for Desktop, which we can get from this link. Same thing, scroll down to the Downloads tab, select the one that matches uh, your, oper your operating system version, click here to get the installer file. This will get us the installer file. The installer file for the NRF Connect for Desktop is ready. Start it. Now, this is downloading or installing for us the NRF Connect for Desktop, which contains a rich collections of applications that are quite powerful and useful for de development and for testing. So you can see it's opened here. You can see the application. This is the Getting Started Assistant for Linux. And this one is the Toolchain Manager that we use for both Mac OS and Windows. Click on Install to, go to get the Toolchain Manager. And now let's open the Toolchain Manager. Through the Toolchain Manager, we can install the NRF Connect SDK. You can see here we have always at the top the latest version of the release tag. It's highly recommended that you download the latest release tag, but for this demonstration, I'll use the 1.6.1. This will allow me later to show you how easy it is to migrate between um, older version to a new version. Click Install. You'll be prompted with a window to select or confirm the installation directory. Always remember to place your SDK as close as possible to the root directory and avoid using blog names or names that contain spaces. Continue installation. And you can see that the installation has started for the NRF Connect SDK. This will take some time depending on your machine speed and the internet speed. Once we see these buttons here, it means that the NRF Connect SDK is successfully installed. Now, the next step that we have on the list is to install Visual Studio Code. This is a very straightforward task. So we can either directly go to code.visualstudio.com or we can just click here and the Toolchain Manager will automatically detect that Visual Studio Code is not installed and it will give you the hyperlink to take you to the download page. So click here and now we can easily download Visual Studio Code. So this is the download link will get me the installer file. An installer file, file is being downloaded. So the installer file for Visual Studio Code is available to us. We can start the installation process. It's a very straightforward installation. Next, next, just leave the default setting. Next, install. So now we have Visual Studio Code installed. We can leave this option ticked, and let's go back to the steps and see what's the 
remaining step, which is installing the NRF Connect extension pack. We can do this in two ways, either by relying on the, on the toolchain manager, if we are on Windows or Mac OS, or directly from Visual Studio Code, if we are on Linux. So to get the NRF Connect extension pack, all we need to do in Visual Studio Code is to go to extensions, and here type Nordic, and then you see that I have the NRF Connect extension pack available to, here, to me here. Just I, all, I, all I need to do now is just click on install. So this is the method that you use if you are on a Linux machine. If you are on a Windows machine, what you need to do, so I will close now Visual Studio Code. What you need to do is go back to uh, the tool chain manager. Okay, so the last step was asking me to install and install. Now it's telling me to restart and I have connect for desktop. So I need to close tool chain and I need to also close the NRF connect. And then I need to start the NRF connect for desktop again. Open tool chain manager and click on open VS code. So see, now it has detected that Visual Studio Code is installed, but it tells you that you need to get the pack. So the pack containing all of these extensions. So click on install missing extensions. This will simply do the exact same step that I showed you before, which goes to the extension and download the NRF Connect extension pack. Now the installation process is complete. I can simply click open VS Code and I no longer need the Toolchain Manager or the um, NRF Connect for desktop. So I can close both of these. Now we are in Visual Studio Code. Anytime you need to open NRF Connect for Visual Studio Code, you just need to open Visual Studio Code. One important step to do here before starting using the NRF Connect for Visual Studio Code extension is to click here, click on the Open Welcome page, and do the quick setup. By the quick setup, you need to select uh, an SDK version and a toolchain version. So since in the previous part, I downloaded 1.6.1, again, always recommend it to use the latest. It's available to you. Select that here and close that window. By this, we have successfully installed an RF Connect for Visual Studio Code.